what is the teaching around the wearing of a burqa? What, why is it, um, is it something that is uh, necessary for women here to wear? Well, that is from your point of view. From our point of view, uh, women being sexualized and objectified is something that is unacceptable. But again, this is a distinction. I'm just trying to get across the fact that there's different understandings of how humans should live. You base your values on something, laws that are different than what we base our laws on. As coming for, uh, to your question about hijab, uh, specifically burqa. Burqa is something distinct to Afghanistan. It is something cultural. Uh, Islam orders women to wear the hijab. Just as Mother Mary wore the hijab, she was covered. Just as the, uh, the, the, the religious women in, in Christianity, they cover themselves up. It's a hijab. There's no difference between that hijab and what Islam uh, prescribes. But that was centuries ago. Mother Mary wore a hijab centuries ago. It's 2022. Millennia ago. Millenniums ago. Yeah, not centuries. But, but the rule, again, we espouse and we believe in the laws that are sent by, by a divine being, the God, the creator of the earth and the universe and the human beings. For you, again, I'm telling you, um, the message I'm trying to get across is for you, your laws change and evolve. Ours are a set of laws sent by God and we, we believe it to be divine and we follow those laws and they don't change. So does, does that mean that you're, you can't be progressive, that progression is something that you do not pursue because your laws were set millennia ago and you are going to stick by those laws? Is, is that a fair assessment? Uh, by progression, uh, if pro progress means the, the nakedness of women, in the public sphere, we absolutely reject that notion. If by progress you mean progress scientifically, economically, uh, culturally, Islam has been the, the standard which the world subscribes to. Islam has a, if you read the history of Islam and Muslims, they are actually the pioneers in the fields of science, astronomy, mathematics. So. If by progress you mean women and them uncovering themselves, we do not allow that. If by progress you mean scientific and economic and social development, that's what we uh, ascribe to. Final point on this. I do not go naked in public. I wear respectful clothes. I don't show flesh unnecessarily. I don't think that is disrespectful. Um, I, I, I think that by, by ha it feels to me that women are being hidden away um, and that's, that's the impression that, that you get, but I take your point. Are the nuns hidden away? Um, increasingly they're not. Nuns have moved on and they don't, you know, a lot of them now don't wear habits and yeah, they progress too. That's, you know, I guess that's So the point. throwing away the veil, that means it's progress? Well, no, I mean, maybe. Maybe it is. Again, if, if by throwing away the veil you mean it's progress, then we're not progressing, ever. If by progress you mean scientific, social, economic development, we, will, we have progressed, we're actually the pioneers in, in those fields. I, I think, again, I, I don't want to labour this point, but I think throwing away the veil, it's not about progression, it's about choice. It's about having the choice to do something, and that does seem to be denied people here. Does the Western society give people the choice to walk around naked without any clothes? They give people personal choice to dress how they wish. No, in, in public. Will they give them the choice? They give no, they, them personal choice. Do they give choice? women and men the choice to walk around Will in you, public you absolutely naked? Yeah, you wouldn't walk around absolutely naked. That would but be indecent. Do they have the choice to do it legally without being In their arrested? own home, in public? In the, no, in public. In public, no, they wouldn't, that would be indecent, that but they do saying. have the choice to that, wear what they want. And that is what we're saying, in their private homes they can wear whatever they want, but in public they have to have uh, modesty. With a, a burqa? With a veil, yes. With a veil, okay. So like we'll